Dear Patrick and Robert, hi guys, I love the show. Thanks, I love my TiVo HD, but I'd like to supplement it with something that offers more robust internet video support. Ideally, I'd like an inexpensive, say less than $150 box that provides a full featured browser so I can view videos from any website. I've been thinking about purchasing either the Boxy Box or the Pop Box. I know that you've reviewed both of these products individually, but how do they compare to one another? Are there any other products in this price range you would recommend? I appreciate your input. Keep up the good work. We'll do our best. Rick in Denver, Colorado. Uh, actually, we touched on two products, or both products, yeah. briefly at CES, and we haven't done full reviews because neither one is actually shipping yet. Yeah. Uh, I, I We've got like 20 minutes with both products that's true. together. Which one? The Pop Box. Oh, oh, and the Boxy Box. And the Boxy Box. Will you be able to watch any video on the internet, though, with those products, like Flash video or... That's the tough part, the, really. I think flash support will be in both of them. They're both using the new in, in, in NVIDIA. <laughs> They're using the, in te, the, Tegra, the NVIDIA's Tegra chipset. Oh, okay. So they have some powerful graphics processing. The drivers are in place for the GPU inside the chipset, really tiny chipset to accelerate that. Um, and I got to say, though, they're thinking more living room than desktop. Both boxes, you know, I, I, this is my international lean back environment, which is living room, rather than lean forward environment, which is computer. Both boxes are built around interfaces. The whole point of both boxes are to give showcase interfaces that are designed to be easy to operate with a remote control. That's a lot friendlier to most people than, say, the browser window you're looking for. Eh, frankly, if, if you really want a browser, I'm thinking sal salvage an old machine and turn into a home theater PC? Totally. Or, um, or perhaps pick up one of those Asus or uh, the Asus EEE -E -E PC is e a nice little PC. slab for about 350 right. bucks. That's a full Windows 7 computer with HDMI output and built-in wireless. And I want to say that Oh, there's another company that makes another one of those thin devices, too, that's escaping me at the moment. And you have uh, full-featured boxes, too, like we right. looked at from Puget Sound. And ASRock also right. has some home theater pre-built boxes. And, of course, you can go back a few episodes and look at when we showed off me building that home theater box, or home theater PC. Right. You can always do it yourself. So $150, though, is going to be tough. Yeah. I'm almost positive both the pop box and the boxy box are coming in more than that. I, I could have sworn, look, we're going to have reviews of both of them as soon as we can get our hands on them. They're just not available. And if somebody does have a $150 solution, email us. Do it. HDNation at revision3.com. <laughs>